is just in. August is hotter than ever at Appalachian Wireless as they are slashing all normal contract pricing on all smartphones by 50% when you sign up for service. Better service, bigger savings. Serving you for the last 25 years at Appalachian Wireless. Several Pike Countyans who have spent more than a year fighting to get Pike County's form of government switched from a magistrate to a commissioner form have finally succeeded in getting the question placed on the November ballot. In 2015, the group Pike Countyans Against Government Waste fell just short of getting the required number of signatures to place the measure on the ballot. But according to Pike County Clerk Rhonda Taylor, a second effort has given the group the extra signatures it needed. This year, 2016, another petition was submitted along with the previous petition and it contained 1,025 signatures. Out of those 1,025, I could only certify 888. According to the county attorney, he says that it is legal to take the first petition and the second petition combine those two together to make one petition. And that has given the group more than the required 1,200 signatures of Pike County registered voters. She says now it's up to Pike County Judge Executive Bill Deskins to take the next step. And I've certified them. I've sent them up to the judge's office and it will be up to the judge. And Judge Deskins says now that the required number of signatures have been verified, the next step is to place the measure on the November ballot. County attorney looked at the numbers and said uh, it was all right and okayed it, and I have to okay it too. So I asked the uh, county clerk if they all she had checked all the numbers, and she said there was 1,200 registered voters in there. So I have to okay it to be on the election, and I will do what I have to by the law. So at this point, it appears Pike County voters will choose which form of government they want on November the 8th. Reporting in Pikeville for EKB News, I'm Shannon Deskins.